Hi everyone. How goes it? Strange seeing me on a Friday, right? Thanks for being here. We are um we're in this huge band of storms this afternoon. We are hoping we can keep power for the rest of the day. Um, we are being told by our local weather that this is the worst weather day Virginia has had in years. Right now, it just it's just raining right now, and it looks a little strange outside. But um, we'll see what happens here. Yeah. A little scary. A little scary. your day. Anyway, I'm going to do a little work with this this afternoon. I got to put some gloves on though because I get stamping polish everywhere. Hi Claire. Who do we have with us? Hi Tina. Let's see Karen. Hi Delia. Hey Ann. Hey Crystal. Hey Angelica. Hi Marcy. I am. I got lots of irons in the fire um, because I have a private student coming next week for two or three days, three days. Um, plus, I have about two or three different classes I'm recording right now, too. So, I got little bits of projects everywhere. Does ever, anybody else have that? I'm dying to use this cheetah print. Y'all know me and some cheetah, honey. I'm going to use it, too. I'm going to use it. Let me clean off my plate here. And I'm going to do a little bit of bright. I'm going to do a little bit of dark. I'm going to see how many looks I can get out of that cheetah print today. Just with different things. But the first one that's calling my name is like a gray nail with a little bit of ombre. So let's tackle that one first. Hi, Maria. How are you, love? We're just talking about all the projects I got going here. I have a semi-clean desk, though. Y'all be proud of me today. And I love this gray. Look at this. Karen, too much. Let me use this one first. Hi, Janice. We're going to do some cheetah print today. We're going to see how many ways we can do some cheetah print in about 30 minutes. So here we go with our gray polish. Oh, that's pretty. Very, very pretty. This is a nice, warm, like uh, an elephant gray. You know, regardless of the season we're in, there are always um, those clients that really don't want to wear color. They want to wear neutrals. And gray is another form of a neutral. Let's pop that in. Well, let's give that 30 seconds in the lamp. And I want kind of a taupey, just an ivory. There's one that looks like this. And let's look at this one. Yeah, this one a little too pink. Let's go with this one. This is, what is this? Champion of Pugs. I want it to sit underneath um, Queen of Brunch is what I want it to sit underneath of. So let's go ahead and get one coat of this down. Foil swatching Friday and girl, I ain't swatching much foil. I can tell you that. I'm doing this cheetah print. Look, look y'all. I'm doing this cheetah print on this stamping plate and 
while I want to foil some of it, I want to see if I can pull in uh, just a couple other techniques with it. So I did not choose a full set to swatch today. Isn't that pretty? Child, I don't think I've used this except to um, swatch it. What is that? Number nine, Champion of Pugs. That's so pretty. We'll pop that in. And then I think, I think the last one I'm just going to leave white. But, hmm, I want kind of like an all-over stamp with that. Let's see if we can put down a little bit of outshine so we can stamp this. I'll put it all over. I don't I don't think I'm gonna stamp it all over. This is one I want to pop some foil in for certain. There we go. A little bit of black gel polish. How's your Friday? Y'all got plans for the weekend? Are you doing something special for Mother's Day? I'm going to see my mom tomorrow. She lives about two hours away. Not quite two, but right at two. Let's ombre this little guy. Right back here. And we're supposed to have dinner with my daughters tonight. Barring that uh, we all still have power with these storms coming through. We're, we're like on high alert here at headquarters because we're, we're trying to, we need the power to stay on. Yes, honey. You don't realize how that affects your work day when major storms come through like that. You know... And I hate wind. Child, I can take anything but the wind. And there are tornado warnings this afternoon. Doratio. Look at that, how pretty. Just a little black gel polish. Let's cure that. Now, this pretty neutral one that we polished, we're going to uh, put Queen of Brunch right over top of it. This is like a really pretty peachy shimmer. It's going to be beautiful over top of this. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh, honey. Let's zoom in so y'all can see a little. Look at that queen of brunch. You have high wind warning. I was telling the crew earlier that our weatherman says today will be the most severe weather day Virginia has had for years. Supposedly between 3 p.m. and 9 p.m. is going to be the worst. Um... So yeah, but you know, we're in we're in a solid structure where headquarters are. I'd rather be here than out on the lake in my house. Um cuz the whole back of my house is glass with doors and windows and yes, honey. So I think I'm in a safe place. Like I said, we just need our power to stay on. It'll get us behind if not. Okay, that one's done. We're gonna put some cheetah print on that. We'll come back to that in a second. And this one. So let's go ahead. This is that plate, um, what was this called again? 
This is Clear Jelly Stamper 77, CJS 77. Look at all these pretty patterns. The butterfly, I think that's feathers. No, yeah, butterfly feathers. If I'd read it, honey. Leopard, ooh, that giraffe is pretty. Reptile, turtle shell, zebra, snake, tiger, and cow. Nice. Hmm, now that I see that, I kind of want to do this giraffe. kind of want to stamp that one. And I don't have a color down. Let's see here. But I kind of want to stamp it rainbow. Oh, let's do it. Let's do it, honey. Let's just try it. It might not work, but it might. Get us a stamper. I love this plate, Cindy. Absolutely love it. I'm wondering, since it's foil swatching Friday, we should do um, foiled zebra stripes. Would y'all like to see that? Would y'all like to see how I foil a stamp? Yes, no, maybe. Yeah, okay, so instead of doing our cheetah print on this one, let's go ahead and do our zebra. And first things first, I gotta have some no shine because um, we don't want the foil to stick to uh, the background of this nail. We only want the foil to stick to this right here. So let's get this on here. They should have called this no chrome, honey. This top coat, I cannot live without. It's not like any other matte top coat. If you have not seen me use this and you are all the time trying to either chrome your stamped images or foil them and it just not working right, your background doesn't stay clean, blah, 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 blah. It looks a little smudgy. You need this top coat, honey. It'll fix it in a heartbeat. In a heartbeat. All right, that's going to have to have 60 seconds. Let me grab, I think we'll do gold zebra stripes. But, because I wasn't planning on doing that, I don't have a, or do I have a gold powder? Hold on. I pulled out my neon powders thinking that's what I would use. Let me grab me a gold powder. you boo and I'll grab a little piece of gold foil Lord honey I've cleaned my suite yesterday and reorganized I can't find nothing we use this one. That's my favorite one, by the way. Let's cut us a little piece of that. Well, you can tell my scissors real sharp now. Okay. That matte top coat is about to finish up. Thank y'all for joining me on a Friday. Now, to in order to get our foil to stick, we have to use a sticky stamping polish. If you've got one that says S on the top of it, that means S is for sticky. To my knowledge, um, sticky only comes in black and white. So yeah. Let's shake this up really good. I still see something green on my stamper. Child, we are not transferring you off on my pretty nail. No. All right, that uh, matte top coat is done. It's a no wipe top coat, but I always wipe it when I'm going to um, 
put foil or chrome or anything like that over top of it just because I want to make sure I don't have a fingerprint or just any residue or anything on it. I call this priming the surface. It's better safe than sorry. All right, boo. Here we go, GGO. Let's get these zebra stripes. I think I want to scrape this way. Now, what I do, you guys, where's that foil I cut? Anytime I'm foiling, I pick out a chrome or a pigment as close as I can get to the foil. It doesn't have to be exact. Obviously, this has lots of shades of gold in it and rainbow. Uh, so I want my gold pigment to be gold, basically. And I hope I've chosen the right pigment. That was the one that was closest to me. If not, we'll know. And I'll just get another one. Look, I used to stress so much before I went live about what if something went wrong. Things go wrong all the time in a live session with a client. And we just fix it, don't we? Don't do something because you're afraid you're going to do it wrong. Do it because you want to do it. All right, let's put these zebra stripes on here. Obviously, this is going to be my nail is longer than what the stripes are. See there? So I kind of did it a little diagonal. This is the new formula of Clear Jelly Stampers um, Sticky Stamping Polish. Look how good it's holding that foil. You want to constantly move your foil around so you're not dispersing this background, the stickiness of the background. And then I just take a little bit of my gold matching pigment. And I'm going to put that over top because there are little itty bitty teeny tiny nooks and crannies somewhere ultimately that maybe it just didn't, my foil didn't stick as well. Maybe it did, but I have found if I put a pigment all over, I just let it sit there. Remember, that polish is sticky. So I'm just letting this pigment soak in um, the sticky areas. And then I give it a burnish. The pigment will stick where the foil didn't, if you have any areas like that. And look how pretty this is now. Isn't that gorgeous? Let me adjust a light here just real fast. There we go. Beautiful. And that's how we do foil with stamping. Thank you for the stars, Angelica. Very pretty. So now let's top coat this and we'll kind of, oh, wait, wait, wait. Let's put some cheetah print right up here at the top. Let's double stamp this. Wait a second. Let me get rid of my powder. Look, y'all, I have this thing about powder on my work surface. It's like sand in your clothes at the beach. Oh Lord, I can't stand it. I cannot stand it. Now I'm just going to put a little bit of this black cheetah print at the top. Just a tiny bit. Uh, maybe I should do that in gray. And I'm going to stamp this with the gaudy lacquer. I just want it very subtle. So I don't want a, a, a stamping polish that's going to be up in my face here. I want that very subtle on the back of my nail. So I'm going to use this gray called Dream. Uh, let's see, that's not the one. I, I want the same color as I put underneath, Karen Too Much. Oh, that's a new one. I've turned your brain into overdrive. 
Look, people feel unsuccessful with foil if they can't get a foil transfer. And there's so many other things that we can do with foil besides a foil transfer. Oh, yes. Now I want, I'm just gonna kinda cut this off diagonal-like. See right there? Because this was diagonal. So I just kinda want this to be right in this area. And that's the same color gray as I have on the bottom. I love that. Stamping plates make my camera go out of focus. Isn't that pretty? Now let's top coat it and we'll see all the bits and pieces come to life. Uh, I have handy near me this NSI Glaze and Go. So I'll use that. Wow, this is so pretty. I'm loving the, the hollow that's throwing off of that zebra. But I love animal print anyway. This is a plate after my own heart, honey. I wish my lights would cooperate. I feel like I have lots of shadows on my nail today. Let's try this one. Maybe that's better. Oh my gosh, that is so pretty. Look here. Isn't that beautiful? Well, let's pop that in the lamp. I love this top coat for uh, layered artwork because that's that foil that we poked onto the stamp was a little bit raised. And if you're if you don't have a thick enough viscosity top coat, eh, it'll kind of be wavy on you. Animal prints your favorite color? Good. Good. All right, so this one, this is such a pretty combo. The background of that is Champion of Pugs. And then I popped down some um, Queen of Brunch. It's, it's one of our Dazzling Daydreamer collection. And it just gives it a really pretty shimmer. It's still a nude nail, but it has a shimmer to it. Now let's put something on the other side of this nail. I think she kind of screaming for, eh, that's too brown. This one is called Kiss Me, Miss Me. Oh, that might work. I was thinking a brighter red, but this might work. Yes, I think it's gonna be fine. And I just wanna put this on one half of the nail. There we go, GGO. Oh. If you like, I'm not really a waitress red, but you're not a fan of the brand per se, this color is very close to that. Now I've put it over this neutral, so obviously that's gonna change the undertone just a little bit. And let's clean off our plate while that's going. Where'd she go? Here she is. I'm loving this um, giraffe print that's on here. I, I don't know how I overlooked that, but I think I want to stamp the giraffe print next. Are y'all okay if I do that? And let's see here. Hey, 
so the nice thing about having a matching um, lacquer collection, you guys, is that you can stamp with your lacquers and everything kind of match and coordinate together. That I do like. Here's that first nail that we just finished. Black gloves change the color of artwork in a camera. Have y'all noticed that? Look at this, how pretty. And when I put my black under it, look how it washes out the nail. It's like it changes the color of the whole screen. I love this. Absolutely love that. Okay, let's do one more coat right here on the side of this one because we're going to do the giraffe print here. Yes. And in we go. In the meantime, let's pull out our tortoise um, foil. This is a collection of foil. It's in the winter foils, but you should really grab this because it's got that gold thread in it that we just used. It has uh, a rainbow, um, I don't know how to describe this one. Kind of like an oil slick, but not an oil slick. Uh, and then it has a clear, it has two winter patterns, and then the rest is just uh, animal print pattern. So I'm going to pull out this one to use with this giraffe print. Honey, this is going to be pretty. I think I am. Let me let me see the color first because this is kind of the color I'm trying to match up. Oh. Ooh, honey. Yeah, I still think I'm going to go with my first choice here cuz I like mixing. Maybe I'll go with this one. I like mixing um patterns and color and this does have a little bit of that burgundy shining through it so we'll go with that one instead foil is hard to handle when you have gloves on very hard all right so the first portion of the giraffe print is this the second portion is that. That's the middle. So the middle would be done in the matching um, lacquer. And again, that's number 26, Kiss Me, Miss Me. And I've just given my lacquer a good little shake here. But we can't put any foil down until we foil proof <laughs> this background. For sure, honey. Yes, Lord. We don't want to mess up our background and have foil or chrome or something like that everywhere, do we? No, we don't. And in we go with that. In the meantime, let's stamp cheetah print one more time. And I think I'm just going to do that in black. I think I'll do that in black. I've got a white nail ready to go here, so let's get it on there so it can be starting to dry. And then we'll foil that nail also. I love stamping and foiling. Love, love, love it. And we'll stamp as, as much as we can here. Again, these stiletto uh, nail tips, I think, are longer than your average nail is. So the nail is longer, basically, than what the stamp is big. And I'm not going to foil this portion. So I'm going to clean that up. Let that dry. And I'm going to go ahead and matte top coat this one.
because I only want the center of this cheetah print to be colored, basically. Happy early Mother's Day, by the way. Let's pop that in. We have a giant Mother's Day bundle this weekend with a lots of new product in it. We have a new product line that's coming into our core collection. And that product line is in the Mother's Day bundle. It's over $600 worth of product for $229. Yep, we're excited about offering that for you guys. Okay, so now this one is done. We're going to prime the surface. Just going to wipe it down a little. And we're going to stamp on this side of the nail. We're going to grab this portion of giraffe first. Let's clean off our stamper. I actually have the plate upside down. It would be helpful if I turned it. This is part one. This is part two. So part one is going to be in black sticky stamping polish because I want to foil this. There we go. And again, uh, probably not the best um, nail size to choose for this. Just let that dry just a second. And now I'm going to foil. Oh, nice. So all of my giraffe spots are turning this deep, dark, tortoise brown. Can y'all see that? <gasps> Honey, Miss Tracy might be on to something here now. Look, how many of y'all have time just to sit down and create? Not, not a lot of us do. And I got to start making more time for that. Okay, I'm going to try and match up my pattern and stamp the rest of the bottom there. So let me stamp that one more time so I can finish my pattern throughout the nail. Creativity fuels creativity. It doesn't matter if you're doing nails or, you know, I'm a mixed media artist. I do little itty bitty, teeny tiny watercolor paintings, like business card size watercolor paintings. And I've got watercolors that have sat in the package unopened for four years now just because I've been too busy. And I got to quit that because that's my outlet for, that's just my creative outlet. And everybody needs that. Would you agree? To me, that's a form of self-care that most people wouldn't consider self-care. A lot of people think self-care is going to get a manicure or a massage or and it's not that that's not it but self-care is caring enough about yourself till you let yourself have those days where you're not having to think about you know a lot of business or whatever the case might be it's those mental release days oh my goodness y'all look up close how that foil is transferring to all of my spots Okay, that's done. Let's clean off our stamper. And now we're going to stamp these middle spots in uh, this matching lacquer. Oh, I can't wait to see this. I think this is going to be really pretty. This plate is in our store, www.themobilemanicures.com. And it is plate CJS77. CJS77. Now look, we used this side right here to stamp up close. So we're using the matching lacquer. This is number 26, Kiss Me, Kiss Me. I put this down in gel over here because we have matching both in the store. And now I'm going to stamp these uh, giraffe, the inside of the giraffe spots in the matching lacquer. 
some things I don't have to have too matchy, but something like this, I think it's very vogue. Um, if you can match these up. All right, so now I'm just gonna match up my spots. Give me just a sec to line it up. Oh, honey, Miss Tracy. Child, look here. All right, let me clean my stamper and I'll match that pattern up on out down the nail here. This Scotty Lacquer stamp's really good, you guys. It's only eight bucks a bottle over in the store. Every gel polish has a matching lacquer. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, let's match up right here at the bottom. Just bear with me because I know you're trying to see it and I'm trying to look through uh, the camera to match it. There we go. Look here how pretty that is. Now you can see right here, I got just a little bit of my giraffe spot over into um, this deep burnt red color. That's easy fix. We're just going to clean that up with a little cleanup brush here. It's beautiful, isn't it? It's very um, sophisticated looking. And I'm just going to swipe that off of there. Good deal. And I want to finish this with uh, just like a little gold line down through here. I don't know if I have striping tape or not. Let me see. I don't, but because I'm using this gold foil, let's foil this again. Holds up. We're going to put a little bit of foil gel out on our palette here where we sponged on that black. And let's grab a brush. When I'm doing a long straight line like that, you guys, I reach for this um, 20 mm striping brush is what you want to grab. Cause she look like this. See there, she's a long little brush. Let me make sure I don't have anything in this brush. Yeah, she looks good. Now this is a matte nail surface, obviously. So I'm just going to load up my brush with that foil gel. And just go right down the middle. I'm going to let that brush lay down flat because that's how I get a nice, pretty straight line. Can you see the wet reflection of that? Honey, that looks pretty good. It's hard to see clear on clear. See if I got my line straight. I think I do. We're about to find out. See here? All right, let's cure that. Probably something like that. I would say you could go 30 seconds on, but just to be sure, I'm gonna go 60 because I wanna get a really nice foil transfer there. Any questions so far? Yes, no, maybe so. I'm in love with this snake skin on here. Maybe I'll try it too. Hold on, what was this? Reptile. 
Oh, you know what? I didn't notice. Every every design on this plate is a twofer. It has, uh, it's layered. So two butterfly, two feathers, two cheetah, two tortoise, two giraffe, two reptile. Huh. Or just one cow. And then there is two zebra that we could have stamped. And then one snake. I'm going to stamp this snake skin just because I love it, honey. All right. Here we go, GGO. Look now. The, the threads in this foil are going vertical. Don't put your foil on like that because you have a vertical line. Let's pop it right here. If you have a hard time doing this kind of thing, moving your foil around maybe you keep picking your foil up and and putting it back down because you can't get a good grip on it you really don't need a grip you just need a little wipey and that wipe makes it so that it's slick right it's hard to put foil on with gloves because i really can't get that pressure that i need Girl, won't you stop it? Look here. Isn't that beautiful? Now let's top coat it. Again, I'm using this glaze and go just because it's a nice, it's a beefy top coat. Um, over artwork like this. You know what we could do if we wanted to add further dimension to this, we could lay a little bit of something shimmery in the middle of our giraffe spots, which I'm seeing needs to happen. But since y'all been so patient while I've been working on this, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. This is beautiful. How pretty that is. That's a nice nail, Mama. Don't know do it, honey. Let's get us a black nail tip. Oh, wait. Hold on. A shorter nail tip so we can get a full pattern on here. One moment, please. Isn't it pretty? Thank you, Jewel. My staff is all busy today working on our Mother's Day bundle for Sunday. Um, we're going to actually put it up early instead of having it just for the live Sunday night. It can be purchased all day Sunday, but um, again, we have limited quantities so. If it's even something you're thinking about, it, I'm a little bit worried it might not make it to the live Sunday night um, because it is such a good deal um, of product. So if you haven't seen our Facebook page about that, there's a little post up and I'll be posting that link on Sunday. It's a 63 piece set, $623 of retail product for $229, just because we love y'all. Yes, Thelma could wear this, honey. All right, black. Let's look at the two we've got done now, because these are real classy. We have this little girl. We're going to call her Zabrina, if Cindy's watching. I did an ombre background. I stamped that. I foiled my stamp. And I double stamped it again on the top. Really, really pretty and super dimensional. That was the first one we did. The second one we did was this little lady with those giraffe spots. 
And now we're going to do, uh, I was going to do the cheetah with some neon, but I'm loving this reptile on here. So let me do that one. And again, I'm still using the same set of foil. All these foils I'm using is in the winter tortoise. There's nothing winter in here except the two on the end, and you'll get a little snowflake or something on those. The rest of these are animal prints, nudes, and neutrals. All right, let's put our no shine down because we don't want this pretty look that we're gonna do to stick to the background of this nail. Thelma could wear this. Oh, I just saw that comment, did I? I don't know if my comments are moving. Are they? Yes, they are. Okay, let's pop that in for 60. And in the meantime, we'll go ahead and clean off our plate here. We're also going to need a chrome powder that's kind of clear, but sort of rainbow looking at the same time. If you have rainbow chrome, that would be amazing. Or if you have one of the snow cream chromes, that would work as well. And do I have one near me? Oh, or if you have a candy chrome, let's, let's do a candy chrome. Yep, let's do a candy chrome. I'll do rainbow candy chrome because I want to use this rainbow foil that's in here. Look at this, how pretty. Highly metallic. And that's all gold right there. I really don't want that portion of the foil. I kind of want down in over here where I'm getting, see that right there? Where I'm getting all of those colors. If I just say I have one favorite set of foil, it would be this, because these produce a very, very classy nail. Okay, so there is that piece. Let's clean this up. Get with the program, girl. If you've not tried sticky stamping polish, I think you'd really love it for your foils, your chromes. You know, what we used to have to use shellac brand of gel polish to kind of get to hold our, our foils and our powders and stuff. We don't have to do that anymore because Clear Jelly Stamper has come out with the sticky stamping polish and it's even stickier now than it used to be. All right, our nail's done inside the lamp. Let's prime our nail. Remember, we're just gonna wipe it off with a little alcohol. It has a no-wipe surface, but we just wipe it just to be careful so we can be sure we don't have anything on it. And, ooh, which one do I want? Um, I was gonna do this one, but now I think I'm gonna do that one. I think I'm going to do this one. Again, this is the sticky stamping polish. Oh, uh, let me re-ink that. I didn't get enough on there. I miss the side of my stamp over here, and I'll miss my nail if I don't. There we go, GGO. Matter of fact, I'm gonna do its neighbor sitting beside of it. I think this will fit my nail better. Sticky stamping polish has a grip to it. I do find I use a tiny bit more sticky polish than I do um, just a regular stamping polish. Just let her dry for a second, a moment. Oh, 
honey child. Laws has musky. Okay, that's beautiful. Just keep moving that foil around. Can y'all see what's happening there? Look here. Now we're gonna take this rainbow candy chrome and if there's any place, like maybe down in a little crater or a little nook or a cranny that um, that foil didn't stick, I'm gonna burnish this into it. And just pop that all over and then I'm gonna give her a good little burnish. And then this is why I love popping a glove on um, when I'm doing my foil like this. I can burnish that further into the surface with my glove. Isn't that pretty? It's very reptilian. I wish this camera would focus. Right? Nice. And that's how we stamp with foil. And put a top coat on her. Boy, she comes to life when that top coat goes on. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. And we'll cure that now. And that's our foil swatching Friday. Any questions? I used the set today called Winter Tortoise. Again, there's nothing winter in it except two little ones here on the end. And this is this is a black with just some like little snowflakes. Uh, and this is a clear hollow. But the rest of this is all animal print and nudes in here. There's five different tortoise. Uh, the gold threads I used, the rainbow I used, and then there's a clear rainbow also that's really pretty. Don't be thrown by the word winter. Because this would be beautiful in the summertime. And pop that back in there. And I had a piece of that that I cut that I didn't use. I'm going to pop that back in there. And let's look and see what we made today. You need to try stamping with foils. Let me zoom in so you can see. Really, really pretty. I hope y'all enjoyed this today. Enjoy your weekend, you guys, and I will see you Sunday. Don't forget about our big um, Mega Mother's Day bundle Sunday. That it will actually go up at 12 a.m., 11.59 p.m. tomorrow night. That bundle will be posted. And uh, I believe at last count I looked, uh, I believe there's 40-some of them. Okay? Y'all have a great weekend. Bye-bye.